We're gonna do something crazy today that I've never done before at Catch an Ice Cream. Well, actually two crazy things. You have to stay to the end to figure out what the second one is. But the first thing we're doing is we're gonna mix every single ice cream ball together and see what it looks like. But of course, before we work with food, we need to wash our hands. Make sure we wash them for the right amount of time, which as you remember, I got my watch to make sure it tells me when we're done. Also, your nails can get pretty icky, so make sure you scrub your nails whenever you wash your hands. There's all kinds of things under them and on them. I like to scrub them like this, but you can do it however you need to. Now we're gonna rinse all the suds off and then it's time to dry our hands you want to make sure you dry your hands really well if we're going to put gloves on because if not the gloves will stick to your hands the plastic handle on the paper towel machine is antibacterial so you don't have to worry about touching it because it doesn't allow bacteria to stay on it and would you look at that there's your sign right there <laughs> i want to thank you for 5 million subscribers on youtube i never would have imagined that i'd be this far and i also never would imagine that we had opened our own ice cream shop you've changed my life and i never want to stop thanking you for that so thank you so much i hope you get to come in and enjoy some ice cream and experience this beautiful gift that i made for you now that we got our gloves on it's time to get one of every single ice cream ball that we have line them up on the frost stop and then we're going to chop chop fold fold them all together this will also be a great time for me to tell you what all of our flavors are and review which ones are my favorite for you the one in my right hand is strawberry shortcake the one in my left is biscoff cookie butter i would say the strawberry shortcake one is an eight it's so good but i'm just not a huge strawberry person but if you are you'll definitely give it a 10 out of 10 the Biscoff cookie butter is amazing. It's so good in the fall because it's kind of a warm flavor with the cinnamon. Actually, I don't even think it has cinnamon in it, but it's that kind of feel. You know what I'm talking about? That warm flavor. And then that paired with the vanilla ice cream on the inside, it is so delicious. I would say it's a nine out of 10. Now we're gonna get into some of our cereal flavors. This one's Fruit Loops. It's really good. Uh, the Fruit Loops are kind of hard when you chew on them because they're not soaked in water. So it can kind of cut up your mouth. You know how cereal does that sometimes. So I'd give it a seven out of 10. The next one is Fruity Pebbles, which is another cereal one. So good, and Lautaro just dropped it. So we're gonna throw him another one. Uh, but I would say, yeah, Fruity Pebbles, probably a nine out of 10. That one's really good, it's been a classic. It's been one of our most popular flavors since the very beginning. This one's s'mores, I I don't know, I wanna love the s'mores. Uh, it's chocolate based. I'd probably give it a six out of 10. For some reason, it's one of my dis most disappointing flavors I have. I just feel like there's not enough s'mores to it. It's more just kind of like chocolate with a hint of s'more. And I want it to be really s'more-like, but a lot of people still love it. We brought it as a limited time flavor and people just keep getting it. So I guess other people think it's good. Next up in my left hand, we have frosted strawberry, another cereal flavor. I would also give this one a six out of 10. Like I think it's really good, but I just think some of our other flavors are better. But like I said, all of our ice creams, you can't go wrong with these. I'm just being hypercritical because they're my own ice cream flavors. And then my right hand last time was chocolate brownie. That one is a huge classic. It is so good so chocolatey so a whole brownie wrapped around that thing okay now i'm going way too fast cookies and cream i would say eight out of ten classic so good a lot of chocolate though it's like a chocolate covered oreo so good the pink sprinkle one it's a ah, seven out of ten it's our collab with wicked it's really good strawberry flavored i forgot the other one so right now we'll go over the, the one in my hand this is our tabasco guacamole ice cream 10 out of 10 honestly the shock factor alone would give it a good rating but it tastes so good it's so good and then the these are all three 10 out of 10 cookie dough best seller best flavor by far so much cookie dough amazing and then after that is the salted caramel which is chocolate covered pretzels on it so good that one's inspired by my first viral video absolutely amazing great seller looks beautiful and then in my left hand right now i have mint chocolate chip that one's pretty good. I'd say 8 out of 10. It's just like kind of classic mint chocolate chip flavor. And I think the one I'm forgetting about is that chocolate and green sprinkle one up there. That's another collab with Wicked. It's called the Blizzard and I. It's pretty good. It's cake batter ice cream with chocolate. So it's kind of like that chocolate cake batter vibe. Really classic flavor in my head. I know it's one of my dad's favorite cake combos. Um, so I would give that one, a, like it's pretty solid. I'd give it like an 8 or a 9 out of 10. But here's a whole lineup. I did it color coded. Let's start smashing them up. Starting off with cookie dough here, my favorite. And this uh, Tabasco guacamole ice cream is somehow super frozen. So we're not going to mix it in right now. But let's keep going. The next one, this is frosted strawberry. And then after that, we're going to do fruity pebble and then fruit loops. It's actually so much fun crushing them this way. It's very satisfying. It's a hard shell on the outside on most of these. And the feeling of it popping and cracking in your hands, the smushy ice cream on the inside, so fun, so satisfying. If you ever want to learn how to make your own ice cream into the shape of an ice cream ball like we do here, we actually let you come behind the counter at Ketchup Ice Cream and learn how to make your own ice cream ball start to finish, learn how to throw ice cream, and even chop, chop, fold, fold it all together like we're doing here. Just, you won't be able to mix all of them together. That's not an option. 
but you can at least learn how to mix one. Stop, take your best guess of what color you think this will be when we mix it all together and type that down below. Here's another little fun fact about our ice cream balls. All of them have different coating on the outside and each coating has a different strength. So some are a little bit harder to smash than others. Like for example, the cookie dough is really soft because it's just cookie on the outside and same with brownie. But our ones that have dark chocolate on the outside are so hard to smash. And then the ones that have white chocolate are a lot easier, but if you have things that are tough on it, like these chocolate chips, it makes it a lot harder to smash the white chocolate. But then once you get smashed through it, it's so satisfying. Or even sprinkles. Sprinkles create a nice hard shell on the outside, so they're kind of hard to smash. But look how beautiful this is once it's cracked. Now that we have a huge pile of ice cream, I'm not going to use my hands anymore. I need my spades. Let's time. It's time to chop, chop, fold, fold this giant ball all together. Whenever you're going to chop, chop, fold, fold ice cream together, you want to hold your spades like handlebars on a bike. And then you push that down into the ice cream, and then you move it towards you, and you keep pushing up and down and moving it towards you at the same time and you're chopping through the ice cream. And then eventually you're gonna to wanna to fold it. And that's when you grab an edge or a corner and then you lift that and fold it right over on top so that the ice cream smashed, the ice cream that's smashed down has now folded over onto itself. And then you're gonna keep doing that. You're gonna keep chopping and folding, chopping and folding until it all becomes the same giant blob of ice cream. You know, when you do like one or two flavors together, it takes a couple seconds. When you do every single flavor we have, it's going to take us a while to get this all together. And I'm going to be honest with you, we're probably not going to chop it till it all is one color. So I'm sorry if you picked one specific color a minute ago when I asked you to because I'm getting tired and we've been doing this for a while. <laughs> now I'm just more curious to see what this thing is going to taste like because that's a lot of different kinds of random flavors. But I feel like the chocolate coatings are what's going to really stick out because there's so many of them in there compared to all the other flavors of ice cream. Since you've made it past the halfway point in the video, I'm gonna let you know on our secret of what we're doing next. We're gonna make this into the largest ice cream ball that we've ever made at Ketchup Ice Cream. I think it's about time for us to be done chop, chop, fold, folding this all together. We need to start hugging this up into a ball so that we can go ahead and put it in the freezer so we can dip it down and make it our giant ice cream ball. I guess I should probably cut off a little piece so that we can try this out. I'm going to make my employees try it with me. There's only three of us and we're just trying this. So this is probably way too much ice cream, but this ball is so big that I think we have a little bit we could spare. This makes me miss my old job when I used to make these giant balls of ice cream so I can make huge ice cream cakes. But let's throw this in the blast so that I can have a little nap while we try out its little brother I ripped off. So after all three of us tried it, we pretty much decided that it just tastes like the chocolate coating. It really overpowered the rest of the flavors. You got a little hint of chocolate ice cream maybe a little hint of mint other than that yeah you just kind of tasted all the chocolate coatings that we mixed in speaking of chocolate coatings let's get some chocolate coating ready so that we can dip our giant ice cream ball in it once it's done freezing i'm filling up this giant bucket to make sure we can dip the entire ball in here without making a mess now let's check up on our big guy and see if he's nice and hard. And I can tell you right now, just by looking at it, this thing is ready to go. That ice cream is rock solid. But weirdly enough, our ball now looks like a brain, which is kind of sad, but also kind of really cool because it's almost Halloween. Uh, and we can't fully dip this because now I overfilled it. Remember when I said I filled it up so we wouldn't have to make a mess and now here I am making a bigger mess. We're gonna dip one half and one half, but now my gloves are a mess and the chocolate's hardening. So we need to figure out what to do. Let's just grab a spatula and throw all the fruity pebbles on the top. We gotta move fast because our ice cream ball is so cold. In the moment the chocolate gets hold, it will not hold on to any of the fruity pebbles. So we need to make sure we do this before it hardens up on us. I think we should be good. The fact that it kind of is sticking is a good sign. Now for our true test. Let's Let's dig this boy up and see if the fruity pebbles stick. And I think it did really well. And look how perfect our ice cream ball is. This is so cool. I'm so glad that we decided to do this. Of course, next is the throwing test, but I'm too afraid to throw it across the room. But I wanna show you what it looks like out in the front. People were so confused when I walked out for this, but look how big this is compared to our other ice cream balls. Like the size comparison is just crazy. It really does look like a brain though, right? Not that I'm selling this, but how much would you pay for a giant ice cream ball the size of this. You could feed like 20 people with this big, huge ice cream ball. And since you made it to the end, the emoji is a brain. Comment brains down below. And if you wanna watch this again, it's a loop.